Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how I'm doing my soap brow. I'm basically just going to be using bar soap. One that I'm going to be using is from Oil Valet and I have it here in this container along with my spoolie. So those are the only two products that you're going to be needing. Oh, well, a water bottle too. Let me go get that. See, I hardly have any. And we're going to zoom you guys in and show you how it looks on one brow. So for starters, everyone's eyebrow hairs grow differently. Mine's grow down and others grow up. So the first thing we're going to do is wet the spoolie. Then we're going to go back and forth in here. I'm going to really pack it on because my eyebrow hairs are thin. Okay, so I got quite a bit of product on the spoolie. And now I'm going to start to... Really, Camila? gonna brush the hairs up now pick up a little bit more again wet the spoolie thick that's much better okay so once we have that down, so that's what it looks like with just soap on it, okay, compared to this one. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my foundation, any foundation really. I'm using my, one similar to my skin tone I'm using the one by NARS, and this is in Barcelona. And I'm going to use a flat brush. I'm gonna carve out under the brow. Before, this is what I'm doing before adding on any product to fill it in. You're gonna see a big difference just doing this alone. Okay, so again, here's a comparison. It's the same old, same old products that I've always used. This is the Ben Nye Media Pro Eye Definer in the shade Espresso. I'm picking that up on a angled liner brush. This is an old brush that I have from TNT Cosmetics, but just any liner brush that's angled with a point to it will really help. And what I do is I really pinch the tips of it once I apply, once I load it up with product. So just go in here, load it up, take a paper towel, and I pinch the tips together to make it flat like that. Okay, and then the pointed side is the side that I'm going to face down, and I'm going to start to flick and do hair like strokes. And then this gap that's right here between the foundation shade and the actual hair, I'm going to fill that in too.
I'm not gonna go on top and and draw a line. I don't like the way that looks. So just gonna rub, go through the hairs, add product as needed. With a little bit more product, apply a little bit more pressure. And notice that I'm only using the tips of the brush. like that. So this is what we're looking at from far away. And I see this little gap right in here, so I'm gonna fill that in a little bit. Step back, look at what I'm working with, I have always a, a small mirror up close and then another mirror far away. So. Now I will say that once I start to apply the rest of my face product, some powder can fall onto the brows. And what I do to get it off, especially because we already have soap on them, is I take a brow gel using the one by MAC. This is their Pro Longwear. Oops, wrong side. This is in the shade Quiet Brunette. So I'm just picking a little bit up on the spoolie. And going back to apply this helps take away some of the white residue too from the soap, if you see any. And bam. Wham and wham bam. So just for a little bit, just because we want to be a little extra, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that foundation. I just put some on the back of my hand. And the flat brush. And I'm going to go under that brow again just to clean it up a little bit more, especially at the tips. I mean at the beginning of the brow. This is with the feathered brow done. Huh? I'm in the middle of recording a video. Thank you. This is with one feathered brow done and... Yes? You want to be in my video? Okay, come here. Did you like it? Do you like my eyebrow? Which one do you like better? This one or this one? Which one do you like? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Mwah! Aviéntelos un beso. Uh, Yay!